Hi everyone and this is Kalyan Kumar. I welcome you to this video that we've been doing uh, on the IUPAC nomenclature of various types of organic compounds. And as you can see, today we're going to talk about the IUPAC nomenclature of cyanides. So first let's understand what cyanides are. Uh, cyanides are categorized by the fact that they have a C triple bond N bond and the C is attached to an alkyl group. If R were H, it will be a hydrocyanic acid. But if it is other than H, if it is any alkyl group or any aryl group, we call it an organic compound and these fall under the category of cyanides. Remember the A is silent here. As you can see, if this is cyanide and the carbon is attached to only one other carbon, this falls into the category of chain terminating functional group. chain terminating functional group so therefore almost all of the rules of chain terminating functional group are followed in the case of cyanides um, so let's check the rules now the way a cyanide is named is remember this is written as nitrile. Nitrile. Now, unlike other functional groups, where for alcohol we used all, for aldehydes we used AL, for ketones we used ONE, for carboxylic acids we used oic acid, most of them started with vowels. So we always used to eliminate the last vowel of the alkane. So for example, if I said alkane with the OH group, which has to be a all, we used to remove this E because this starts with a vowel and we used to call it alkanol. Similarly for aldehydes, we used to call them as alkanol. <clears throat> Whereas in the case of nitriles, the situation is different because it is nitrile starting with the consonant. So here we write it as alkane nitrile and we include the E of the alkane. So name this alkane <clears throat> the way you would name a normal alkane but remember the carbon of this nitrile has to be included because the nitrile only signifies triple bond N. So in the name nitrile the carbon is not included. <clears throat> so you must include this carbon in naming the alkane and for obvious reasons since it's a functional group it has to be given the number one so you start the numbering from the carbon of the nitrile so these are very essential things here so let's check this out name the parent alkane and remember include the carbon atom of the nitrile as part of the parent followed with the word nitrile. The carbon in the nitrile is given the position number 1. It is not necessary to include the location number in the name because it is assumed that the functional group will be on the end of the parent chain. Because as I said earlier, these are chain terminating functional groups. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples and you need to check out these examples and figure out how to name them and as usual when I give you an example pause the video name it yourself play back the video to check the name the first one coming up is this one so pause right now name it and then play it back so remember there is a C here which is not written down but as you can see from the representation there has to be a carbon there so how do we number this? Obviously, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And there are no substitutions, no other double or triple bonds. 
it's a very very simple name so what did we say the name should be it should be alkane nitrite so what kind of an alkane is a five membered carbon chain it's pentane and pentane nitrile we don't have to say pentane one nitrile it is automatically assumed to be at position number 1 so now let's use a substituent and then check pause the video now write the name and play it back automatically this becomes 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 so how do you name this <clears throat> it is 4 bromo pentane nitrile again one nitrile is not required so this is 4 bromo pentane nitrile now let's do something which is a little bit complicated let's try this one <clears throat> now this is pretty complicated here you had need to figure out the parent chain first so pause the video take your time write the name and then check back so i'm going to now show you the parent chain remember the cyanide is sitting here so this carbon has to be included and the parent chain is the one in which the carbon of cyanide is included and then it includes maximum number of multiple bonds now remember if i start from here i encounter i encounter the first double bond encounter the second the third i reach up to this point now i could either turn it this way or turn it this way and obviously we are not going to use this one because if the number of multiple bonds are same then you must ensure that the number of carbon atoms are maximum and that is the only way you can get maximum number of carbon atoms the chain that i've shown right now so this is the parent chain and the numbering has to start from the c of the nitrile so the numbering is this way 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 carbons so first of all write the parent <clears throat> writing the name of the parent is most and most important you can write all the substituents later on <clears throat> now this fellow has three double bonds and one triple bond and is 15 carbons long that is penta deca so the ending has to be penta deca penta deca represents 15 carbons and you got a double bond setting at 3 double bond at 6 double bond at 8 so this is going to be penta deca 3 6 8 tri n 12 ion and i'm going to use the word e because after that i'm going to use nitrile so this is the parent penta deca 368 tri n 12 ion nitrile okay and now let's write down all the substituents so which is this substituent this substituent is 1 2 3 4 it is going to be secondary secondary pentyl this is secondary pentyl because total number of carbons are 5 so you got secondary pentyl sitting at position number 2 and then you have methylidene sitting at 5 tert butyl sitting at 6 ethyl sitting at 8 isopropenyl sitting at 10 another ethyl sitting at 11 and a methyl sitting at 14 so just write them in the alphabetical order so the name becomes 6 tert butyl 8 11 diethyl 10 isopropenyl 14 methyl 5 methylidene 2 secondary pentyl pentadeca 368 tri n 
ट्वेल्व आइन नाइट ट्रायल सो प्रिटी लेंथी नेम हियर बट दैट इज द वे इट हैज टू बी नेम्ड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द सिचुएशन व्हेन यू हैव मोर देन वन साइनाइड ग्रुप प्रेजेंट एंड रिमेंबर इट वर्क्स द सेम वे एज वी ट्रीटेड एल्डिहाइड्स एज वेल एज एसिड्स so let's understand how to do that um i'm going to just remove this first so let me show you the situation here suppose i have ch2 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 and i've got a cn here i've got a cn here if there are two of them you're going to call it as dinitrile just like if you remember in aldehyde we used to use diel and as as an aldehyde and acids numbering has to be this as 1 2 3 and this must end here at 4 so this is butane dinitrile and you don't have to specify 1 and 4 it is automatically inferred but instead sorry this is going to be ch3 this is going to be ch3 instead you got to now use these as substituents so this is going to be 2 3 di methyl butane dinitrile without a space that is the situation when you have two cyanide groups now what happens if you have three let us say i have three of them if you have three of them remember what we did in aldehydes and acids we never would use these cyanides for counting we would take the parent chain in which the alpha carbons now again there are two situations you we have to assume that the alpha carbons of all the three cyanides are in one chain if they are we only number the chain and use the ending as carbonitrile and if there are two of them we say dicarbonitrile so we number it from uh, let me check which one do we number uh 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 5 6 it doesn't really matter which way you number because you get the same numbers on either side in this particular case so in this particular case we can number from any end so i'm going to number from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 take that as the parent chain which includes all the alpha carbons and is the longest chain if it is a saturated system so this is going to be hept and there are three cyanides so it's so ending is going to be tricarbonitrile so it is going to be heptane 2 4 6 tri carbo nitrile now we do not include the carbon of the cyanide now what happens if it is not all the three alpha carbons are not in one chain you cannot find all the three alpha carbons in one chain here so we treat one of them as a substituent and treat this as a dinitrile so start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is hexane dinitrile ending is going to be hexane dinitrile and what is the prefix we use we use cyno and as in the case of carboxylic acids the cyno name includes carbon which means we are going to call this substituent as cyanomethyl because there's only one carbon here so we have the name as 3 cyno methyl and um, 
we have two five di methyl and continued with that hexane di nitrile the same logic that is applicable to acids is applicable to cn also so this is the way you name cyanides where you have one cn group more than one cn group this is the way they have to be named and i hope that this video helps you in understanding how these are named and if you have any questions any doubts any queries please drop them in the comment section below and uh, thank you very much for watching this video thank you